Ladies and gentlemen, and various, can't forget about various. Ladies and oh. Time. Yes, yes. Bunny says hi to you too, okay? Okay. And I had, you know I had seen Beauty and the Beast. It's on Netflix now. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that is not exactly live action. No, no, it's all CGI. And if it's all CGI, then it's not live action. But at the 15 minute mark, just like, just like about everybody told me, I really wanted to suck a cock. Nice. Yeah, that's exactly. That's exactly what the Christians told me. Yeah, I, I, I just it, it was Beauty and the Beast, and I was so I, I, I needed, I, I, I needed to just get a big black cock just jammed down my throat. Yeah, yeah. You're just watching the movie, and then you're eating popcorn, and you're watching the movie, and you're eating popcorn, and then suddenly, huh? I should go back to the concession stand and see if they have balls. <laughs> Really like to just put some balls in my mouth now. Mm -hmm. That'd be that would be what I am looking for. <laughs> you know, it would go really good with this popcorn. <laughs> so, yes. so, so, ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again to help out all of those struggling indie bands out there with yet another giveaway moment here on the show. It's free band name time. Once again on the Pop on Film podcast. Mm -hmm. and, and this week's free band name comes with a bit of a story. See, uh -huh. there's a, a, a sort of a movement happening right now in America. Basically, the patriarchy is being systematically destroyed. One yes. rich, po po powerful, and or famous person at a time. And with this comes a renewed focus uh, on events that have happened in the past that maybe weren't taken as seriously as they should have at the time. Uh, hopefully my fingers are crossed. Hopefully now that this movement is happening, maybe now all of society can agree that Chris Brown is an asshole. Yes. Has he got busted? Oh, well, he has uh, always been an asshole. Hey, he did one good part in his whole fucking life. Yeah, Chris Chris Brown beat the living shit out of Rihanna and like grew. I was on Chris and yet, Tucker. No, <laughs> Eleanor, stop, stop. Sorry about that. that. Oh yeah, Chris Tucker and Chris Brown. You get your Chris's confused. It's okay. Yeah, I'm also not talking about uh, David Letterman's sidekick who starred in Cabin Boy. Just to be clear, Chris, Chris Elliott. No, that's yeah. Chris Elliott. That's Chris Elliott. Yeah. So, so Chris Brown, no, Chris Brown beat the crap out of Rihanna, beat her to a bloody pulp and threw her out of a moving car. And yet he still makes music. Are you taking the baby with you? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. She's going to destroy the, the house then. And yet he still makes music and releases albums and like uh, freaking people still buy his albums and consider him a sex symbol. And it's, it's bull crap. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm just hoping that now that, that this is happening in American society that maybe we can all now agree that Chris Brown is a sexist, white beating piece of shit that we can ostracize, you know? Mm -hmm. Girlfriend beating. Yeah. Girlfriend beating. Yeah, he's a, he's just a he's just a woman beater. Yeah. He's just a woman beater. So actor Christian, I, I just I just don't see what is so fucking wrong with demanding some kind of decency and integrity out of our politicians. Yeah, yeah. I, I loved Al Franken, but you know what? Fuck that guy. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad that we're ostracizing Al Franken because I was actually the first person to say we should all ostracize. Al Franken after I saw the film Stuart Saves His Family. Oh, uh, yeah. I, this movie sucks. We should all uh, ostracize Al Franken now and forever for the rest of our lives and everyone thought I was a fool. Now who is the fool, Bunny? Now <laughs> yeah. who is the fool? Mm -hmm. so actor and not Christian... for the first time. Not for the first time because yeah. it was yeah. Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman. Yeah. 
we're going to be talking about Batman v Superman later oh, in no. the podcast. <laughs> just to just, just to let you know, little preview. What is left so to be act- said? <laughs> oh no, there's there's still a lot to be said. So, actor Christian Slater is doing a press junket thingy, ma bobber okay. about some boring new thing he's doing. Apparently, he's in London doing a play. So, a British newspaper sends a reporter to interview Christian Slater a, about his new play, and yada yada yada. And the reporter decides to dig into Christian Slater's past. Yeah. Okay. And so the reporter and found, asks, and found out all about Jack Nicholson. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, the reporter asked Christian Slater if Christian Slater has any regrets about his younger, wilder days. Uh, apparently, in 1997, Christian Slater went to rehab in jail for uh, hitting his girl for beating the crap out of his girlfriend. Really. And then, yeah, and then when the cops were called, beating the crap out of the cop. Wow. So. Pass fuck a Walmart. Okay. I'll get the fridge lock tomorrow. Okay. Well, Christian Slater gets real pissed, right? Yeah. So actor Christian Slater uh, calls the reporter a, a salacious cunt. Okay. Not, and that not, is your yeah. Don't do that to the press ever. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that is your free band name of the week. Salacious cunt. Salacious cunt. There might be some uh, logistical problems because if I'm not mistaken, salacious cunt is the name of the uh, the pet that Jabba the Hutt owns. I think so. Yeah. Salacious cunt. I'm pretty sure that's the name of Jabba the Hutt's pet. But salacious cunt. I can totally. I. I. If I really close my eyes and pay attention, I can hear their music <laughs> in my head. It's amazing. I just think that that if I was a salacious cunt reporter, and Christian Slater said that to me, I would just yeah. be like, "Oh, thank you." <laughs> yeah. yeah. This article is going to be really good now. <laughs> yeah, I'd be uh I'd be like really writing that. So if I was the reporter that was called Salacious Cunt, uh-huh. I'd be I'd be selling Salacious Cunt bumper stickers and shirts, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That would be like the that would be like the those uh nasty women nasty woman shirts. Yes. Salacious cunt in white on a black shirt. I'd buy the crap out of that. Yeah. 